All right, so joining us now for uh, more on the movements of uh, the price of gas uh, in the GTA and even across the country, Dan McTagg uh, from Canadians for Affordable Energy. Dan, uh, 150, is this for real? Well, it's not just for real. Uh, it's actually going to be hit uh, later on this evening uh, and into Friday when we see $1.51.9. Uh, and of course, uh, that in of itself is uh, you know a bit of a, an eye popper since we've never seen those kind of prices here in the GTA or in Toronto. Uh, but that's going to be the average rolling price you're going to see tomorrow morning at most stations. Today, we're $1.49.9. Uh, that's a number that was itself a record back in both October and November. Uh, but the prices afterwards came down. They didn't shoot ahead. Uh, this time it's different. Uh, with oil surging, uh, gasoline, 151.9 for Friday, 152.9 for Saturday. Now, uh, people obviously, you know, they go, they gas up, they're freaking out. Um, do they get a, what's behind this? Well, there are three things. Uh, Two are pretty obvious. Um, one, of course, uh, geopolitical tensions with uh, Russia, which is an oil supplier uh, threatening to uh, invade uh, the Ukraine. Uh, that, of course, has a lot of risks uh, and threats for markets. They don't like that. The second one is uh, a shortage of oil production. Ever since uh, mandates uh, around the idea of uh, environmental, social and governance mandates have come in saying we have to De disinvest in oil and gas, well, it's having a predictable effect, not just uh, here in Canada, but obviously in Europe and other places around the world where uh, the supply of oil is uh, less than the demand. The demand is surging. The final one is one that we don't spend a lot of time on, but I'm pretty, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty adamant about, and that's the weakness of the Canadian dollar versus the U.S. greenback. That's critical because we price all of our uh, our products, uh, whether we be food or gasoline or anything in U.S. terms, because we're not selling a lot of oil, because we don't have the capacity, we don't have people buying Canadian dollars, it's now 127 pennies to replace and to buy one compared to what it was oh, back a few years ago. It was 111 pennies to buy U.S. dollar. What's the difference? An additional hidden 10 cents a liter on every, uh, every time we fill up. So uh, it's not something that's insignificant. And it's just as bad and just as costly as the ever-increasing Trudeau government carbon taxes. Now, Dan, we uh, spoke to some people uh, who were obviously filling up their tanks and uh, concerned about this. Here's what they had to say. Uh, apparently, tomorrow it might go up to like 151. Like, what do you what do you think wow. of that? I'm glad I'm filling up today. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's insane. I mean, remember when I first started driving and it was at 80 cents, so definitely doubled. <laughs> yeah. Do you find that now you're driving less? Definitely, yeah. Because of inflation? Um, I mean, mostly because of COVID, but um, yeah, definitely, you know, you try not to drive quite as much as you used to. I don't drive less because I have to work here, you know. I have to work every day. And this is the situation. I have no choice. Very high. It's very high. Unfortunately, it's not affordable to a lot of people. So Dan, obviously a lot of anger out there. Um, is there a chance that prices hold at this level? Yeah, I think we might see a, a week or so uh, where prices could hold, but there are too many uh, unknowns. Geopolitical tensions are things that can't be predicted, uh, nor can really the value of the Canadian dollar. I mean, it's uh, many people have expected it to pick up in value. Uh, the other factor, of course, is governments increasing taxes. I mentioned earlier carbon taxes. There's also a clean fuel standard, what I call a second carbon tax. And that starts way down in December. That's going to be about four cents a litre plus HST. And don't forget, on April 15th, Scott, we change and shift from uh, cheaper to make, cheaper to sell uh, winter blends of gasoline to summer blend. And that means an additional five cents a litre. I think we're looking at $1.65 as the new normal here in Toronto and the GTA and a good part of Ontario as we speed towards the heavier demand driving season, which begins uh, in earnest right after the uh, first week of May. $1.65. I mean, I, I could see people taking to the streets uh, in some anger. Well, it would be good for them to do that and to recognize what's driving it because some of it is within their control. Uh, you want a carbon tax that's going to be at that point about 13 cents a litre, not 8.84 uh, uh, plus HST. 
uh, and we have some control over the clean fuel standard. Uh, we also have some control over the idea that uh, Canada can, in fact, sell more of its products if it weren't for obstructionists encouraged by governments to stop selling oil and gas. That's having a real hard impact on Canadians, and it very much is inflationary. I can see people getting angry, but uh, there are some solutions. And it wasn't that long ago, uh, an enterprising young Liberal member of parliament uh, from Pickering decided to give not one, but two energy rebates to Canadians. I think it's time for the federal government to uh, think about uh, returning some of that massive wall they're getting on their GST and HST, that includes the provincial government as well. They could be giving back some of that in the form of rebates to Canadians. Uh, definitely a lot for people to consider as they uh, gas up. Dan, thank you very much. And let us know what uh, you think on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube to get all the latest news. Thanks for having me, Scott.